everybody and welcome to this special story time celebrating Teddy Bear Picnic Day or as we're calling it Big Teddy Bear Picnic Day. For those of you who don't know this is Big Ted our library bear and today July 10th is Teddy Bear Picnic Day so we will be having a picnic themed story time. I think it's time for a music break so we've got Big Ted on the keys the piano over here and I've got some percussion instruments. A disc it a story we'll be reading is called We're Going on a Picnic by Pat Hutchins. Let's go on a picnic, said Hen, Duck and Goose. It's such a lovely day. So Hen picked some berries because Hen liked berries best, and Goose picked some apples because Goose liked apples best, and Duck picked some pears because Duck liked pears best, and they put them in the basket. We're going on a picnic, they sang as they walked across the field. This looks like a nice place for a picnic, said Hen, and set the basket down. I can't wait to eat some of those berries. It's a bit shady, said Duck. Let's go up the hill. We might find an even nicer place. All right, said Hen, but it's your turn to carry the basket. We're going on a picnic, they sang as they walked up the hill. This looks like a nice place for a picnic, said Duck, and set the basket down. I can't wait to eat some of those pears. It's a bit windy, said Goose. Let's go down the hill. We might find an even nicer place. All right, said Duck, but it's your turn to carry the basket. We're going on a picnic, they sang as they walked down the hill. This looks like a nice place for a picnic, said Goose, and set the basket down. I can't wait to eat some of those apples. It's a bit hot, said Hen and Duck. Let's go down this path. We might find an even nicer place. All right, said Goose, but let's all carry the basket. We're going on a picnic, they sang as they walked around the lane. Oh, they cried and set the basket down. We've walked back home and we haven't had our picnic. Off we go again, said Hen. But when they picked up the basket, it was very light and very empty. Duck, said Hen, did you eat the pears? No, said Duck. Goose, said Hen, did you eat the apples? No, said Goose. Hen, said Duck and Goose, did you eat the berries? No, said Hen. Then they must have all fallen out said everyone at the same time. So Hen picked some more berries because Hen liked berries best. And Goose picked some more apples because Goose liked apples best. And Duck picked some more pears because Duck liked pears best. And they put them in the basket. We're going on a picnic, they sang as they walked across the field. This looks like a nice place for a picnic, they all said, and set the basket down. Down by the park. Where the pear trees grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever read a pear at a picnic over there, down by the park? Let's pack some snacks to read at the picnic, picnic. Let's pack some books to read at the picnic, picnic. Let's pack some books and food and drink and anything else that you can think for the great big fun picnic. In my picnic basket here, we've got our next book that I think Big Ted will really like because it is about a bear. This story is called Tea Party Rules by Amy Dickman. Cub was playing in the woods when he smelled something delicious. He followed his nose through the bushes and found cookies and another bear. Can I have a cookie? Cub asked. The bear just stared. Cub tried again. Can I have a cookie, please? The bear just stared. Why won't you answer? Cub cried. He poked the bear. 
The bear fell over. Sounds to me like he's a teddy bear, just like Big Ted here. Oh, Cub exclaimed, you can't eat cookies. Cub felt sorry for the bear. I'll eat the cookies for you, he promised. Cub was about to take a bite when he heard someone coming. He had no time to hide. Cub pretended to be the other bear. It's time to play tea party, the girl announced. The girl paused. She looked closely at Cub. You're grubby, the girl said. Tea party rule, you must be clean. Then we can have cookies. She carried Cub inside and put him in the tub. Cub liked being grubby. He did not want to be clean, but he wanted cookies. When Cub was clean, the girl paused again. She looked very closely at Cub. You're messy, the girl said. Tea party rule, you must be neat. Then we can have cookies. She carried Cub to her room. Cub liked being messy. He did not want to be neat, but he did want cookies. When Cub was neat, the girl paused once more. She looked very, very closely at Cub. Something is still not right, the girl said. Tea party rule, you must be fancy. Then we can have cookies. She pulled out her dress up trunk. Cub was certain he did not want to be fancy. He wanted to run away, but he really, really wanted cookies. Perfect, the girl said. You're ready to play tea party. She carried Cub outside. There were the cookies. Now, the girl said, the most important tea party rule is you must eat daintily. Cub couldn't believe it. He was clean, he was neat, and he was wearing a dress. And he had to eat daintily. This was too much for a bear. So Cub helped himself. The girl gasped, you're not following the rules, she shouted. Cub did not care, he had cookies. Soon, only one cookie was left. The girl sniffled. I really wanted cookies, she said. Cub knew how that felt. He gave the girl the last cookie. But the girl did not eat daintily. She said, we're not playing tea party anymore. Now we're playing. Cub liked this game much better than Tea Party, and he already knew the rules. If you want to follow along with Big Ted's adventures, you can follow him at, at Big Ted Tinicum on Instagram, or you can go to our website, which is tinicumlibrary.org, and Big Ted's page would be tinicumlibrary.org slash Big Ted. We have an exciting new story time with Big Ted coming up with another bear friend of his and a second friend of his in a second upcoming story time. So look out for those this month. Bye, see you next time. Thank you for joining us.